Okay. So he's coming back into the spin. She's losing herself right there, kicking her butt out. Kicking her butt out again. Really kicked it out that time. So so instead of staying in that spin, the, the very first time she kicked her butt out, he should have drove forward out of that spin into a small circle to the left. And he should be using his, his right leg when he leaves that spin. He should really be driving strong with his outside leg, which is his right leg. Hi, this is Larry Troca. And I'm here today to do a horse training critique of a horse that's being trained uh, for the spin. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with my website or my training programs, my members are uh, given the, the uh, ability to send me a training video, a training video of them schooling their horse, and I'll take a look at it and offer suggestions on how to improve that horse's training or improve the rider's training techniques, okay? And that's what we're doing here today. So, uh, let's get started. And let me hit the uh, play button and get the video going. All right, so here we are. Uh, he's walking this mare in a circle, and he's suppling her up, to get her, getting her ready to uh, work on the spin. Notice him bumping her head to the inside. He's asking her real light to give her head laterally, and if she doesn't, he's bumping his nose in there. And that's good. He's doing the right thing. Um, I'd kind of like to see him, as he's walking around, suppling her up, maybe get her, you know, drive her up into the, the bit a little bit more, get her flexing at the pole, have her head vertical to the ground, and giving her head to the inside at the same time. Kind of, kind of get her really, really supple, more than what he's doing right here. Okay, let's see what he's doing. No, so... Right now, it looks like he's getting ready to, to go into a spin. Personally, if I was him warming this mare up, uh, you know, I would I would have spent more time suppling her. I'd get her to bend more. Uh, he's asked her to give her head to the inside just a little bit. I'd ask for, you know, a greater degree of bend. And like I say, I'd be driving her a little bit so she walked with a little more impulsion. And by impulsion, I mean stepping with a little more uh, deliberate steps, step, 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 and that'll get you better results uh, uh, with the suppling and the control. So let's see what's going to happen here. Let me hit the play button again. All right, so he's getting ready to spin her. Let's see what she looks like. It's going into the spin to the right. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's stop right there. So let's talk about that spin for a second. Matter of fact, I'm going to reverse it. Okay. There we are. We're at the start. So let's talk about the spin a little bit. Now, when a horse spins, the horse should be crossing over with his front feet. The outside, this, this horse is spinning to the right, so his left front leg should be crossing over in front of the right front leg. And when a horse is spinning to the right, the horse should be, should be planting its right hind pivot foot to, uh, to spin on, okay? And this horse is kind of, um, you know, it's crossing over okay part of the time, right there, that's good. See, she's crossing that left front over in front of the right front, and that's pretty darn good. As we watch her pivot foot, we'll see her kind of use the correct pivot foot for a few steps, and then she'll switch up to the outside pivot foot, use the wrong pivot foot for a few steps. All right, so let's watch a little bit more. Good cross over right there. See her cross over? That's pretty good. Not bad. All right. Okay, so now, okay, so now she switched over to the wrong pivot foot. Okay, so let's look at this right here. This is kind of a uh, uh, pretty revealing shot right here. So 
you know, the rider has the horse's nose to the right, to the inside of the spin, which is correct, and he's using the outside rein against the horse's neck to move her off the rein and uh, start stepping around in that spin, which is the right thing to do. But I sure would like to see his inside leg move back a little bit and get out of this horse's way. Um, he's actually blocking her from spinning with that inside leg. He needs to let that leg relax and hang in a, a normal position. I'd also like to see him have his hands, shorten up his reins, have his hands out in front of the saddle a little bit more. You can use the, the reins and your hands more accurately if you'll shorten up your reins, extend your hands out in front of that saddle. That'll give you a little bit more control and be a little more accurate with the way you use the reins. Okay, so let's continue on here. So here again, she's crossing over pretty good. Uh, you know, his inside leg is kind of shoving forward. I don't like that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So those few steps, he used the correct pivot foot, and now she's switched over to the wrong pivot foot. Okay, so now he has stopped the, the spin right there and thrown his legs out away from that mare and stiffened him up. So I think he's using that as a stopping cue. Um, I don't I don't care for that, but you know what? Uh, if it's working for him, you know, hard to argue with it. But I'd sure like to see something a little more subtle than that. Okay, so looks like he's going to spin the other way. Let's see how he's starting here. Okay, so he's got his outside leg close to the horse. That's good. Because when he uses this outside rein, he should reinforce that rein with his outside leg. He's going to spin to the left, so he should be using some right rein against her neck and some right leg in her rib cage. Looks pretty good. Okay, she's kind of losing herself there. So the horse is kind of kicking her butt out now, so she doesn't. she's not really wanting to use the correct pivot foot. She's kind of kicking her butt to the outside and using the wrong pivot foot. Okay, she's really did it bad there. She's kind of hopping. See her kind of hop? So right there, those last few steps, you see the mare kind of hop hop up in the front end? That's because for a few steps, she was crossing under and crossing over. Whenever that the, they cross under in the front end, they hit their legs together, and it causes the front end to stop or slow down and kind of hop. And whenever the front end stops or slows down, that's what allows the rear end to kick out. Okay. Okay, again, he, he, he stopped her and stiffened up his legs and moved him off her. So let's, let's kind of critique this right here and kind of talk about a solution. So again, you know, he's got her kind of doing the basics you know, okay, you know, but we need to refine it. We need to make it a little more correct, a little smoother. Now, what I would do the instant this mare starts using the wrong pivot foot or kicks her butt out, I would drive out of that spin into a small circle. And let me clarify this. You're in a spin, the instant the horse kicks its butt out or uses the wrong pivot foot, you need to drive forward out of that spin at a trot into a small circle. And when you drive forward into that small circle, you should drive forward and frame the horse up, collect the horse up, face vertical to the ground, nose to the inside. Okay, and driving that horse out of that spin creates impulsion, causes the horse to, to drive and push off. And if a horse, you know, learns to drive and push off, they will automatically learn how to use the correct pivot foot. That's just the way it is, okay? So let's, uh, and I also should say, when you leave that spin and drive off into a circle, you keep going the same direction that you were spinning, okay? He was spinning to the left. He should have drove out of there into a small circle to the left. Okay, let's see what happens next. Okay, so he's trotting. I'd sure like to see him frame her up right there. All right, so he's going to stop and turn. Okay, so 
what he's doing right here in my rollback and spin video, this rider is, has watched my rollback and spin video, and in that rollback and spin video, I talk about you can really improve the spin by trotting and turning either quarter turns or half turns, 90 degrees or 180 degrees. And, you know, by turning and driving from forward motion, you can really fix a horse's spin and, and get a good spin on a horse. Now he has misunderstood what I said in that video and he's stopping his horse before he turns which is basically canceling out the benefits of this exercise. And on this stop I want you to pay attention to the way he's stopping this horse. Now he's got her stopping you know fairly light um, but the way he's stopping her could be improved. We see his leg kind of stiffening out and throwing forward into her, her shoulder. And he's stopping her by moving his hands down. He's stiffening up his arms and moving his hands down. And his lower back is arched instead of rounded. <clears throat> Ideally, anytime we're going to do hindquarter work, whether it's stopping our horse, rolling our horse back, or spinning, the rider should be sitting on the cheeks of his butt, lower back slightly rounded, uh, hands on when he's stopping this horse his hands should be about the same height as his belt loops and he should bring his elbows and arms back to ask for that stop that would get that horse flexing at the pole better and get her bending her back better okay so let's go on here that turn was halfway decent okay again the way he's stopping this horse, you see his butt is out behind him on this stop. Legs are thrown forward into that horse's shoulder. And right here, to stop this horse correctly, his, his hands should go you know, straight back. His elbows should go straight back, this direction right here. And that would put him on the cheeks of his butt, and it also put his horse on her hocks. Okay, let's go on with this. Turn was okay. But what needs to be happening here, he's stopping and turning. He should be making those turns from forward motion. He should be trotting and you know, doing a quarter turn. Trot, quarter turn, trot, quarter turn. And that horse should want to, if he's turning to the left here, that horse's body after that turn should be you know, driven to the left, kind of like side passing to the left as he's driving forward. Okay, that'll teach you when to use that pivot foot and cross over in the front end really good. Okay, so he's going to stop her a little bit more. Okay, he kind of fell forward when he stopped her right there. Let's, because this is important, let's, let's kind of Let's do this over again. Okay, right there. So on this stop, he needed to, he needed his butt. He's kind of falling forward in that stop. His butt should be underneath him. You know, he should he should be sitting on the cheeks of his butt. You know, rotating uh, his hips underneath him, sitting on his jean pockets. Shoulders should be directly over the hips. Right here, his shoulders are ahead of his hips, and again. Uh, his elbows should be coming back. He should be bringing his elbows back and stopping that horse to, uh, you know, flex her at the pole, put her on her hocks. Okay. So he's coming back into the spin. She's losing herself right there, kicking her butt out. Kicking her butt out again. Really kicked it out that time. So, so instead of staying in that spin, the, the very first time she kicked her butt out, he should have drove forward out of that spin into a small circle to the left. And he should be using his, his right leg when he leaves that spin. He should really be driving strong with his outside leg, which is his right leg. Right there. Okay. Okay. There's a biggie. So now he's leaving the spin, which is good. But when he left the spin, he spin to the left, and when he left the spin, he let that mare's body bow out to the right, away from the direction of the spin, which is a big no-no. He, he, really, he didn't really teach her anything there. When he left that spin, he should be using this outside leg 
and and move her to the left, the same direction he was spinning. Matter of fact, it's almost like a side pass. He should have, when he left the spin, he should have drove forward and kind of side passed her to the left. All right? That's going to teach her to use the correct pivot foot and keep her body in position. So let's see what happens here. Okay, good. So he now he's got her in frame. When he left that spin, I, I would have liked to have seen him get her in frame right away. And, um, you know, halfway around the arena, he kind of realized he kind of needed to collect her up and do that. And so now he's done this. That looks pretty good. I'd really like to see him work this mare in frame like this more, okay? Um, this is pretty good right here. Uh, he's got some tools on this mare. He's got her going. He just he just needs to learn how to use these tools to his advantage. Okay. And again, I'd like to see him keep her in frame right there. So what's okay? So now. All right, so he's he's trotting a small circle again. In my rollback and spin video, I explain how to trot a small circle and bring it down smaller and smaller and smaller until the horse is spinning. And the reason for that is because a spin really is nothing more than the smallest circle a horse can possibly do. So if you start out in a circle and bring it down tighter and tighter and tighter, you can use your outside leg and your outside rein and bring it down tight enough until that horse plants that pivot foot and starts coming around in a spin. So I think that's what he's getting ready to do right here. Let's take a look. Yeah, he is. Here we go. He should be using some outside leg, outside rein. More outside leg right there. More rein. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's what he did. He he tried to she wasn't going tighter into that circle coming down into a spin. So he pressed her with the outside spur and she just kind of showed her resentment there and kind of kicked out at his at his spur there. Personally, I would have pulled her into the ground right there and stopped her and I would have rolled my spur up her rib cage and say, "Hey, you need to move off that spur." For for this to work, for a horse to to learn how to spin, they need to move off your reins and move off your leg. And if they're not, you're not going to get anything done. So that's what he tried to do right there. It didn't go, I'm sure it didn't go exactly the way he planned. Okay, so he's back in the circle and he's going to come down and try it again. Outside, okay, right here he should have this outside leg close to the horse, toe turned out and pressing her down into that that circle down into that spin and he's got his outside leg kind of out away from her needs to be needs to be you know he needs to have contact there all right so now he's going to come down again should press with that outside foot parts of it look good okay now she's kicking her butt out he should leave right now he should leave right now accelerate out of there drive with that outside leg and so, as he's driving out of there, side pass a little bit to to the to the left. All right, outside leg needs to be closer to the horse. He needs to be pressed more with the outside foot, and he's not doing that. Ooh, okay. So right there, as he's leaving the spin, he's spinning to the left, and again he left and let that mare bow her body out to the right. He needed to move it to the left. Okay, so he stops her. So this time he's kind of down on his seat pockets a little bit better. Um, his shoulders are over his hips a little bit better. I'd like to see him relax his back a little bit more. There, he should have a little more bend to his back, a little more on his seat pot. You know, you know the cheeks of his butt. You know, hand position's pretty good right there. Um, uh, you know, he can just bring his elbows straight back. Notice how right there, his forearm is in direct line with that horse's mouth. See the rein in the line of his forearm? That's pretty good right there. That's pretty correct. Uh, you know, when you stop a horse, you know, your 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 if your hand's too low, you know, you're stiff arm and, and you break that line. If your hands are too high, again, 
you, you know, it's not in line with the horse's mouth. So he's pretty right right there. Uh, I would like to see his legs relax a little bit more. He has thrown his feet forward as a stop and cue. Now, I'm not saying this is wrong because there's a lot of rein and horse trainers that will teach their horse to stop like this. They Basically, what they do is they teach the horse to back up when they move their feet forward and bump that horse in the shoulders with the side of their foot. And they'll teach that horse to back up really fast whenever they, they put their feet forward and kind of bump them in the shoulders. So when that horse is finally ready to show uh, in a reining competition, they can ask for the stop by saying, whoa, and move their feet forward. And the horse is thinking, oh, that's my backup cue. I better really push uh, into the ground with my hind end. And they'll get a, a nice nice slide and stop. And so that's kind of what he's doing here. Personally, you know, I, I don't like to see that obvious of a cue, or, or at least that dramatic of a cue. You know, my way of thinking, uh, you know, your your goal should be to make a finished horse, uh, whether it be a reining horse or a cutting horse or whatever, so that your cues are so subtle that somebody watching can just barely tell what you're doing, or maybe not even tell what you're doing, okay? So that's just my personal opinion. Um, you know, there's sure other ways of doing it. All right, let's see what's going to happen here. So now he's backing her up. Now when he backed her up, you know, his legs went back here into a normal position. So, you know, I'm not really understanding his, you know, his stop and cue here. But, but that's okay. As long as it's working for him, you know. Okay, so now, so now, all right, so he's going to side pass this mare. He's going to uh, work on a little body control. And, you know, this is pretty good. You know, her, he's got her head to the left and her hips going to the left. You know, that's a difficult thing to do. That's kind of an advanced maneuver, and he's doing it pretty good here. Let's see what it looks like. That's good. Nice. Okay, so let's take a look at this. He's side passing to the left, and it's a really correct side pass. Notice the outside uh, uh, legs are crossing in front of the inside legs. Okay, the outside legs are her right legs. Inside legs are the left legs because he's side passing to the left. Okay, so this is a really correct, you know, side pass. Now, because this mare has been kicking her butt out uh, so much, what I'd love to see him do is go right into a spin from the side pass here. He's got her all set up to do a good spin here. Her nose is to the left. Her hip is is uh, deep to the left. If he just asked for the spin right now, I bet it'd be really good. Let's see what happens. Okay, well, see, so so he side passed and then he walked out of it, walked out of it and let that mare's body drift off to the right. Boy, I sure wish, you know, he'd kind of keep that body to the left uh, more. So let's see what's going to happen here. He's going to stop. Boy, look at the movement on that hip. Okay, so he's really, I mean, he's got the body parts working on this horse. I mean, he's got some, some good tools uh, developed on this horse. He just needs a little more guidance on how to use that tools to uh, improve this horse's performance here. Good. Well, that's a good crossover right there, both behind and front during the side pass. Good. Very good. Oop, a little stumble there. Okay, let's take a look at this right here. See this 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 freeze frame right here? Look how stretched that horse's mouth is. I sure would like to see him, you know, lower that bit, you know, drop that head stall down a couple of holes and lower that bit down lower. It's really good, you know, whenever whenever you whenever you put a snaffle bit up high in a horse's mouth, that horse never learns to pick that snaffle up and hold it. And, I, and it's really good for them to learn that. So if I, if I had this horse, I'd drop that bit down uh, so that it's just barely touching the corners of her mouth so she could learn to pick it up and hold it. And that's, you know, that's my, that's my personal preference. And, you know, most of, the, most of the trainers that I know do the same thing. All right, let's go on here. So we're side passing a little bit. And again, I'd just love to see him take her right into a left-hand spin from this side pass. Good, good. 
Oh, kicking her butt out. Okay, so so what happened right there, let me back this up a little bit. Let's see what happens. Because she, she kicked her butt out. He side passed and everything is set up to spin. But when he decided to spin, she kicked her butt out. Let's see what he's doing with his outside foot here. Okay. So right here, she's getting ready to, to kick her butt out to the right. He should, he should have his toe turned out and press her with the spur. Get that... Hold that rear end in there. Ooh, kicked it out. All right, so the instant she kicked it out, he should have walked forward and side passed her to the left. You know, drive that hip to the inside of that spin. And then spin again. Kicking her butt out, kicking her butt out. Again, you know, he kind of has the inside foot too far forward, kind of blocking that shoulder. And you know she's pivoting on the on the wrong pivot foot. She's on the outside pivot foot, so the inside pivot foot. Let's see what happens here. See this out this outside leg. He should have his toe turned out and pressing her with that spur. Good crossover right there, though. See her cross cross over with that outside front leg right there. That is that's excellent right there. And I I would kind of like to see him you know, lower her pole a little bit while he's spinning. You know, her pole is a little bit too elevated. You know, I'd take my hands, spread them apart, shake her nose down a few times right in the middle of that spin. Teach her to lower that, you know, have more level top line during that spin. So right here, his outside leg is away from the horse, needs to be on the horse. Pressing, keeping her correct. Oop. So he's stopping her now. I guess that was a stop and cue. Let's see what happens now. Okay, I, I sure don't. You know, <laughs> I keep harping. You know, and I hate to be I hate to be too critical on this rider because you know he's, he's done a pretty darn good job and he's a really good guy. But if he came to one of my clinics, you know, I'd be yelling at him <laughs> for for holding his legs off the horse like that. <laughs> and then <laughs> it, it wish it had never come. But. Um, but you know, t for accuracy, your legs you need to get in the habit of resting your legs against the horse's sides. Your legs being close to the horse's sides is what allows you to use your legs accurately at the split second you need to use them. You know, when your legs are off the horse, you know you got to travel a long way by the time you need them. It's, it's too late. Okay. So overall, you know, this rider has done a pretty darn good job. Um, you know, again, I was pretty critical. I was kind of really nitpicking on all the little things there. But again, this rider, you know, he's 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 dead serious about in, improving. So, you know, he wanted to hear the criticism. And you know what? My hat's off to him for it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I upload a new video. Leave your comments and questions in the comment section below the video. Oh, and don't forget to go to my website and get that free membership. It'll give you access to all kinds of good stuff. I mean, you'll learn a bunch. I'll have a link to it down below also. Okay, that's all for now. Take care.